Hello and good morning. Look at how beautiful today is that I even get to work outside. Today's a weekend and listen to those birds and that barking dog. No, you can't even hear that barking dog, but it's going to be a beautiful day today. Just came back from the gym, had a really nice workout. This baby had a really nice workout. Look at that. I'm in my backyard, so I figured I can be in short shorts and a sports bra. So, see, no one. Damn that dog. That's probably what people say about meatloaf. There's no one here. That dog's going nuts. Um, so I figured I'll just lounge and uh, make myself at home in my home. But no, I'm excited for today. It's going to be a really nice day. Um, Bart just took to the pup pups to the groomers because um, last week while we were in Hawaii, they were at a boarding where they got to play with other dogs, they got training, but because they were with other dogs, there's a bunch of slobber and stuff on them, so they stank. Like, they really stank. So they're getting washed, Bart's getting a haircut, and I'm here trying to finish ordering the stuff we need for our house, which is funny because we've been living here for almost two months now and our house is still pretty empty. Outside from the essential stuff that you guys have already seen, we don't have much else, so I'm gonna try to buy some of that stuff. Then, later on today, we are gonna get our rings resized, cause somehow we lost weight, or maybe we were just bloated or something out in Vegas, but now they fit a lot smaller. I mean, a lot bigger, so we need them smaller. Um, we're gonna make a little date out of that, cause it's gonna be Paw Bear and I, and then we are going to have dinner with my brother, which is really cool because I rarely get to see my brother. So I'm gonna hang out with them and I can't wait to bring you guys along. Pop up is back from his heel clip. Let me see your hair. Hold on, let me turn around the other way. <coughs> Whoa, shit, shit did you just cough on my face? Let me Sorry. see your hair. Does it look good? It looks great. I just did a little hairspray and water, so a quick style. That looks great. Good job, Papa. The skin's peeling from all the Hawaii sunburn, though. It's all right. You just got to exfoliate. Damn, Ooh, look nasty. At, look at that ring, though. What ring? What other ring? My nipple ring? This ring. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, now we got to go to Glendale. Glendale. So that we can resize it. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you just got it. I know, it doesn't fit that good. Like, I mean, it fits good, but it could fit better. And my hand's wet right now, so it's not coming off. But this is how it's supposed to fit. Usually when it's, like, not wet and it's dry, it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Fine. Let's go. So there's been a little change in plans. <laughs> and we just got a phone call that Meatloaf is being a very bad boy. And I don't know why because he's been to PetSmart millions of times and right now they're having a hard time drying him because he's being really aggressive and he keeps barking over and over and when they put him in a kennel, he keeps biting the kennel gate. So we're starving, we haven't ate lunch yet and it's already almost four. So we're gonna make a pit stop at Wendy's right here per David's suggestion because on JK News he's been saying how bomb the chicken nuggets are. So we're like, all right, Let's get some Wendy's, eat in the car, save time. We can go save our boy because we are starving. We were planning on having a CUNY lunch together, looking into each other's eyes, playing footsies and touching fingertips so we can lead on to some, you know, hanky-panky action at night. But all of that is going to have to wait because of you, you stupid meatloaf. Do you know what you're going to get? I can't remember the last time I've been to Wendy's. Can I suggest a couple things? Okay. I usually get the number one. They have baked potato. They also have Foster's Freeze, usually, which is like a chocolate milkshake that is to die for. Oh, shit. To die for. But I know you don't like chocolate. I don't, but I'm just thinking of other flavors because I'm sure they don't just have chocolate. I think they only have chocolate. Not even vanilla? That's the number one flavor ever. Yeah, for losers. The number one flavor for ballers and pimps is chocolate. Let's so see if they have it. That? I don't even know, to be honest. I'm so hungry, God I'm getting damn. one. Hi, welcome to my How can I help you? Hi, can I have a number one? All right, a combo one. What kind of drink? Um, do you guys have a uh, lemonade? Sure. They have a vanilla size? one. I'm sorry? What size? Uh, regular. So like a small? Okay. All right. So small combo one with uh, lemonade. Is that going to be a feeding? No. 
Can I get a number two with cheese, please? Can you hear him? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, that's gonna kind of just a sandwich or? Uh, number two. The combo. What do you want to drink? And can I get that with Coke uh, and extra ice, please? What size? Um, large. Okay. And can I also get a, um, do you sell the 10 piece chicken nugget by itself? The regular nugget by itself? Yes. Yeah, four, six, or 10. Uh, can I get 10 please? Why are you looking at me like that? Anything else? Oh, I would like sauce. Can I get barbecue sauce? I can see at the window. Is that oh, good? okay, yeah. And can I also get a medium chocolate frosty? Okay. And I'll have a vanilla frosty, and that's it. Twenty four ninety. Thank you. Thanks. Oh no, they're calling. That's the pet okay. smart. Uh oh. Hello. Hello, Miss Corner. We just want to see you. Uh, where are you at now? Uh, I was about an hour away, so I'm like thirty minutes away now. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because he, we were just kind of monitoring him uh, right in front of the kennel because he just keeps on biting the kennels and everything. So it's just a safety issue. That's why we just want to make sure. Uh, okay. Um, can you, like, put, like, a towel or something over the kennel then so he doesn't freak out and, like, watch you guys stare at him? Is that the reason? Because we're kind of away from him, but we just kind of monitor where he's at. Like, the other two is perfectly fine. And can you hear him barking? Yeah, so maybe you might want to just put a towel so that he doesn't see all the stimulus happening. Okay, all right, I'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, but we're 30 minutes away. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, so Meat loves being a troublemaker, but it also shows that these guys don't really know what they're doing because yeah. if you close the front of the kennel where they can see, then they just think it's nighttime and they calm down a lot more. Well, because they don't know what to bark at anymore because there's no stimulus. Yeah, but if they see eyes staring at them, they're going to think it's confrontation. <laughs> yeah. So. It's like we just have our staff staring at them. Yeah, anytime you guys meet a dog that you're not familiar with, this is safety tip 101. Do not ever make eye contact with the dog. Just let them smell you. Let them do what they got to do because you don't know this dog. So you don't know if he's aggressive. And if he's aggressive and you make eye contact with a dog, um, an aggressive dog, then it, it's you literally challenging them and then they can lunge at you or they'll bark or they'll just start being aggressive towards you. So, now you know. I cannot remember the last time I had Wendy's. It's got to be at least like five years ago. How is it? I think I got it with you once. Really? One time? A long time ago. How is it? It's bomb? really good actually. It's a little on the cold side. It's better than Carl's Jr.? Uh, I haven't had Carl's Jr. in forever. Better um, than McDonald's? Because it tastes like real food. So we're kind of in a rush, as you guys know. And I want to show you guys our food setup. So Mama Bear's eating. I hooked up her hamburger so she could eat. You always got to hook up the driver first. She has her fries sandwich between the e-brake and her console. We got our drinks. Always get the Coke with the extra ice. I got my fry sandwich right here. Got my burger ready. About to peel that open. I got my uh, little freeze over there, and I got my chicken nuggets right here, and then I got napkins, easy access. This is how a true player eats, yeah. if you guys know anything. I mean, I'll have to review the chicken nuggets because David swears that they're better than McDonald's. I can't really uh, dip the chicken nugget into its rightful sauces, though, oh. with the camera. Oh. So I'll just have to do it now. Oh, shit. They were tripping. It's good, but it's not that much better than Chick-fil-A. Because he was saying it's better than McDonald's and Chick-fil-A. It could be that special batch. Because remember when we went to Vegas and I caught chicken nuggets from that McDonald's and it was the best McDonald's mm -hmm. nuggets I ever had. It was so crispy that I had to uh, put it on my IG story. But it sounds like you did it multiple times. Possible. Oh, it's really good, but not here. Yeah, try it. It's not that good. Ah. Uh, I've been. I don't like this. That's it? Yeah. We what? No, you didn't even give it taste buds a chance to I eat it. I don't have to. I already know that I don't like it. Okay. It's just so fake. Uh, so now we gotta go save meatloaf. Is this what you guys wanted? Huh, meatloaf? 
to be freaking stuffed in the back of a little car because you can't behave yourself, all of a sudden you're happy not in the barking, back of a car. Not being aggressive. There's literally like two or three hundred pounds worth of dogs in the back of a four series. <laughs> this is crazy. Is this what you wanted me, love? To be freaking stuffed in the back of a car? You'd rather be stuffed in the back of a car than to be at PetSmart where you can meet all <laughs> these furry friends? You think he says, yeah. I think he prefers that. He says we're much cooler than those dogs anyway. Look at Vaughn. You didn't even get stuffed. to brush him. You're freaking stuffed back there. <laughs> Everyone's buttholes and red. <laughs> Briggy's looking out the back window. Holy <laughs> shit. This is crazy. <laughs> <The> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to the freaking cuny dumb one. Oh, oh god. my god. Look at those guys. Alright. Well, I guess we're going home. So hopefully you guys could have a fun time at home. At least you guys are clean now. Which is good. You guys barely fit back there. Time, even though Meatloaf tried to get in the way, we are determined to get the right size. Hopefully, they have it. <sighs> we'll see. Thanks. Thank you. That's good. Awesome. Cold water. I need to stay hydrated. You know, earlier I was peeing and my pee was crazy yellow and I didn't even take any vitamins yet. But crazy yellow is not bad. Orange is bad. Was it like brown? It look like chocolate milkshake. That's disgusting. You need Jesus in your life. I love going into jewelry stores. Let me see if there's anything I like. Wowzers. We didn't see any of these. Is mine here anywhere? Oh, I think it's right there. That's the one I got. Oh, <laughs> and from my perspective, it's where I'm looking, but it's really here on camera. Well, are you trying to change your mind now? No, 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 I'm just saying that's the one I got, but. Look at these, they're beautiful. Oh, that's the fat one. Remember I was telling you, so. Oh no, you've got the right one. So like, this is an eight millimeter, that's a 10 millimeter. The 10 millimeter, they had additional sizing, that's easier to get. This one's an eight one, and that's 10. No, no, you, that's that too looks too crazy. That looks like a biker gig, huh? Yeah, that's like for my dad's hand. For my brother's hand, because I have really thick fingers. Yeah, no, I have little girly hands, god damn it. No, not girly, but just not that. Look at these, they're beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at these. Yes, please. So I'm not like the biggest fan of jewelry, but I'm the biggest fan of sparkly anything. Oh, this is the guy's stuff. So give me something that sparkles, I'm gonna stare at it all the time and I wanna buy it. I love it. Look at this cuny potato. All right, so I ended up sticking with my original ring just because a size smaller felt way, way, way too tight. Um, they actually didn't have any in Bart size because it's just like a really rare ring, but I think they're gonna add a little bit more <laughs> sizing bar to it. So I don't know if you guys saw it the first time. They had like an additional piece of platinum on the inside. Um, and Bart's like, I'm so Chinese. He just thought, I have way more platinum now. And I'm like, well, yeah, technically you do. So they're gonna add more spacer. Um, but he's gonna keep his original ring, which is kind of cool. So, Pop Bear didn't get his ring. Let me see their bare hand. Ah. Uh, we did go to Lululemon. Yeah, but this is uh, more for research. Yeah. Because uh, I just found out, I don't know why Marie hasn't been telling us, Marie is our fashion illustrator for a barbell. Yeah. She have, we have like this stretch, um, lightweight fabric. Yeah. And then I'm like, wait, why aren't we making shorts? Yeah. And then she's like, I don't know, I thought she showed, I showed you guys. We're like, no, you didn't, you chose anything. Yeah. So, um, I'm, I bought my favorite pair of shorts so that we can kind of make adjustments and base it off of that. Yeah. And uh, so I went to Lululemon real quick to get that, so now we can use that fabric and put it to work. Because she spent all that time doing all the research and development for it, and it's just sitting there. I yeah. didn't know she made that fabric already, which is awesome. Yeah. So it stay tuned awesome. for that. And I didn't get anything. All we had time was just for some David Yerman. And now we have to go to dinner because we're running late. The whole meatloaf thing really took us off of our 
schedule. So I did have I did indulge while I was there. Damn it, you! No, because I found another color in my favorite pair of shorts. So you I, I love it for yourself. Because I you know or for research. Because it's hard. It's it's for research. Because for me, like it's really hard to find clothes that fit me well. So when I find that no model, no shit, because you're fluctuating your weight all the time. I have a weird body. And so like kind of like Levi's, like when I find Levi's that I like, like 501s or 5 whatever, I just stick with that model number and since yeah. they had more colors, I'm getting it. Basic. I'm just jealous. I know you are. This is fucking awesome because we're at an Asian Benihana place and before you keep the Mexican cooks in the kitchen. Don't say that shit. But now they came all the way out to the front and they're going to give the awesome show. Hello, sir. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I've seen a long time. How you been? Good. Good? Yeah. 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 at Universal Studios.
time. Oh, he made a heart. Watch his recipe taste like shit because he's been fucking around the whole time. Because the guy to the left over here, he wasn't fucking around. He might take a bomb, but who knows? He looks like he doesn't really do it
you liking this? It's awesome. It's fun. What's fun about it? Well, one, I think I always like watching people cook. And the two, when he tells jokes and also does really cool things, it's dope. But watch him cut real quick. Look how fast that is. But yeah, I really watch, like, I like seeing people with a high skill set execute. It's almost like when you go to, like, those boardwalks and you see the break dancers, and they're just crazy and they're, like, moving around. So that's really fun. And I get to eat a little bit, watch a little bit, eat a little bit, watch a little bit, and enjoy it with everyone. And I thoroughly enjoy watching the kids across because they keep freaking out. You see the kids' face? No, I don't see any kids. Oh, the kids over there, they're, they're, they're freaking, they're not there right there. <laughs> they are freaking out, it's so awesome. So, to go against what Bart was saying, that watch his food might taste like shit, so far his food's been really, 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 really good. I've been enjoying it so far. I'm just not eating too much because I'm just waiting for my steak to come. But it's almost done, baby. What did you say? Food coma. Look at those droopy eyes. What did you do? You didn't even eat anything. Did you eat anything? What? You just smashed it down. What? Oh, wow, really? She's saying it's nothing. It's delicious. It's bomb. It's bomb. <laughs> All right, so finally my food arrived and I had to go with medium well because I can't have medium rare even though I love medium rare I love when it's bloody that sounds so savage, but it just tastes a lot better But since I'm pregnant I have to get medium well, which is a I guess a happy compromise Look at that I haven't even touched the sauces once I forgot I'm gonna use sauces for that You've been eating everything. Everything's gone. It's you delicious. You were supposed to share with me. I was? Yeah. Oh, it's yours. No, okay. I split. Oh, you're so thoughtful. All right, so I'm back home now. And I must say that did... I have hiccups. Sorry. I must say that dinner was actually really fun, really entertaining, and it was surprisingly pretty yummy. Um, Back home... Gosh, hiccups. Back home now and the pup pups are having their dinner. I feel like they only feel comfortable once we're back home. So then everyone just has to start eating. Look at her. She's gonna go back to her bowl. It's like they're nervous or just on watch. But as soon as we come home, I feel like they go, okay, it's time to take a lunch break, guys. The family's at home, the pack's together. Let's, let's do it. Okay, complete. Side note here is I have to give you guys a review on this white noisemaker. If you don't know what a white noisemaker is, think of it as like uh, the fan sound without the actual fan and like the blowing, ah, hiccups, blowing of the air. So it just makes the sound a fan would make. And it's right over here. I don't remember where Bart got it from, but that's, you hear that sound? That's literally all it does. And when we have to leave the dogs um, indoors for like an hour or whatever when we go get dinner, it's perfect because the uh, hiccups. Because the neighborhood is so quiet, you can hear a pin drop and it makes like all this noise. So if they hear that pin drop, then they're gonna be like, oh my God, what is that noise? We gotta be on top of it. So then they start barking and they start going nuts. But I drown that sound with my white noise machine right there and it's been pretty awesome. So if you guys have a barking dog, we used to do the t the leave the TV on trick and leave it on YouTube and have it play forever. Um, but now, after this thing, we don't have to do that anymore. It's pretty, ha, ah, hiccups. It's pretty awesome, I recommend it. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed my day. It was quite eventful, I must say. My papa bear doesn't have his ring anymore, but it's okay. We'll ah, hiccups, but we'll get it back in in like a week or two. So he even goes, oh, I feel so bare without it, Bill. Oh. He goes, I even feel so bare without it. So I know he misses it. But anyway, 
thank you so much for sticking along this far. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, have a beautiful rest of your day and see you guys tomorrow.